Welcome to Inside Builder channel, large language model automators, Python experts, and my dear friends. Deploying chatbot anywhere with Gradio. Interactive chatbot with Python functions. The challenge that we are facing is creating a Python chatbot. The chatbot interface is just more than an input, an output, and a function. It needs to have a way to store the memory of whatever the uh, user has been conversing with the chatbot and also it has to find a way to show what has been happening so it's not if you have to just use the memory the regular function can have some kind of an internal cache or internal dictionary and you can store the memory however in this case we have to show what the user has been talking or interacting with the chatbot so uh, the the problem is little more than you know just creating a function with a dictionary what you're going to do is we're going to understand how to work with uh, downloading AI large language models using uh, transformers library and then implementing that model inside the gradio and uh, deploying it we will be also looking how the actual chatbot function works so that is going to be the primary target of this discussion Without further ado, let us actually jump into the uh, discussion. So I believe that you will like this uh, content. Do leave a like and uh, share it with others. And also I'll be uh, planning for uh, one more video where I'll be working with loading the large language models using Xlama or GPT for Llama libraries. So if you guys are uh, new to this uh, discussion, I would suggest that take a look at this series of uh, uh, this playlist of uh, videos where I discuss a lot of things about uh, open source models and especially I have been discussing about how quantization works and uh, how the model sizes are reduced, how to improve the model in inference speed and uh, things like that. So uh, that is that will be you know further uh, continued after this discussion. So uh, I believe that you will uh, have learned a thing or two from this discussion and uh, do subscribe to my channel for further updates on similar kind of uh, uh, discussions let us go to the uh, yeah let us go to the code right now the code that i am going to work will be shared with you guys in this particular repo so you can refer to this i am going to zoom in a bit so that you can see it a little better okay i am going to close this right now and i am going to head to the jupiter that is collab environment this particular as i was telling this particular jupyter notebook will be shared with you guys and uh, the example that i will be initially sharing was taken from G gradio's own uh, documentation okay so let us begin so i've already installed uh, transformers gradio and datasets so these three libraries are required and then i have uh, downloaded this model dialog pt medium so this is a microsoft model and i'm using the auto transformers uh, auto model and auto tokenizer classes from transformers to load the model okay now what happens is this is where the actual change starts to happen so there are two different functions we'll be using so one will be the user function where the message that is given by the user as well as the history that has been uh, created by the user and the chatbot will be stored so this is a very simple looking function but this is going to be crucial so i will show you what ha exactly happens next we are going to create the actual bot so what the bot does is it takes the message from the user and uh, also along with the history so the idea here is that the chatbot interface should continuously have the history right so the user as well as the bot replies are continuously updated and uh, so that is done with the help of bot function so this bot function basically starts by tokenizing the message it uh, then concatenates the message with the existing history and then generates the output so all these things i am you know going uh, without explaining any of the code i believe that you are having some familiarity with working with uh, transformers and large language models if not i would suggest you to take a look at the playlist that i shared a couple of minutes back where i discuss about how to work with uh, how to work with these large language models and how to work with uh, any of the uh, hugging face hub uh, models if you guys have not signed up for hugging face hub yet do sign up for the Hugging Face Hub so you will get access to all these open source models. Continuing, once the uh, data, once the uh, uh, 
then sir once the list is uh, generated that list is sent into the decoder tokenizers decoder and the response is gathered the response is then added back to the history so this entire function actually uh, works in a kind of a cyclic fashion so looping fashion where the input is again updated and then returned as an output so you see the history that we get in here is also returned as the final output so this is a kind of a confusing uh, function because most of the time when we are working with python what happens is we have seen uh, seen a black box kind of a functions all the time we send in a comma b and we get out c or we get out c d e f but here we are sending something as an input that is history and we are getting it back again so this becomes a little bit overwhelming so uh, i will anyway uh, as of now i am not going to stop any of these things so uh, here you see that uh, i have uh, uh, segregated this entire function into smaller chunks where i start uh, doing the encoding i do the building of the uh, inputs i generate and you see the response is generated as list of numbers and this list of numbers is what we are going to send it through the tokenizer decode so if i take this particular function and uh, let me go back here and let me decode it so let me go here and let me yeah let me decode this because the response is already available here because i think i can do that without any challenge yeah i can do that without any challenge so let me do that because the yeah this is a nice cool breezy weather it's a nice day for breezy day so you can immediately find out that um, the data that i sent in this is a nice cool breezy weather and the output that i get is so this is the input i gave and the output is it is a nice day for breezy day so this is the model reply this is how we are going to get the output okay and why we are getting this output like this because we are actually split so if i don't split it let us see what happens so if i don't split it so this is how i try to understand what is going on so you see the output that has been created by this particular model dot generate it actually creates this kind of a end of text inside the response itself and we use that as a reference to split it so that is how this particular activity happens so this is the input that we gave this is the end of text and this is where the model starts and there is another end of text so every end of text the model actually informs us that okay it has completed the generation so that is how we learn about this so all the models most of the models have their own end of text that is end of statement or end of generation so that is called as eos end of statement okay or uh, that that is also called as uh, pos it is also similar to that and uh, once you understand these things so this is what gets updated here so you see the steps right but now so you saw that uh, happening in uh, in step by step in python uh, code now what we are going to do is we are going to use the user function that is this user function that i we created here this user function and we are going to use the bot function that we right now decoded right we segregated it and tried to understood and then we are going to create couple of text boxes so there is a chatbot interface and there is a text box interface so the chatbot interface is part of gradio so if you guys are new to gradio if you have not you know come across uh, gradio till now i would suggest to take a look at the previous uh, video of uh, gradio i'll be sharing the link along with this uh, video also take a look at that you will understand what is what is gradio how to work with it what are interfaces what are blocks so i've covered a good deal of information in that video so do take a look at that among them so we are using blocks so we are not using interface here among the among the blocks we have chatbot block and we have text box and we have a button so if i launch so if i run this particular cell a good thing about gradio is you can actually use collab notebook to actually see or see the results of your ui so now you will see that uh, the ui will uh, come up in a minute so it's loading here and ui will ui will come up in a minute the chatbot you can start interacting with it so you see the chatbot here let me zoom yeah it's not that big so i will say hi how are you 
and all you need to do is press enter so do not click on this clear button so the clear button here is to clear the entire history so you saw the reply coming from the chatbot so i am asking how are you and i am good how are you is the reply now the weather is very cool and i press enter and then you i get the uh, i'm glad you like it so this is the reply from the bot so you see the history is continuing so the history is still maintained and that is because we are using this format of you know submission process and we are using both message and chatbot together so the message also stays there so the message also stays there and the chatbot update is also staying there so that is how this entire uh, uh, button works however let me let me continue so let me clear this so once i click on clear what happens is all the uh, history gets clear okay now if you are going to use this chatbot as it is the code as it is you will you are fine so you can just change the model names and you can start using all you need to do is change the model name and ensure that you get the correct tokenizer and correct model so uh, the uh, once you get the correct tokenizer and model you can you can move this i mean you can refer to this model and tokenizer inside this function and any any chatbot can be created this way so you don't need to really worry about how this is working however if you think no kamala i need to understand what is going on then what we can do is we can actually go further what i have done here is i have tried to create a very simple function python function which actually takes message as well as history right i have actually segregated it uh, the two functions that was there above so i had tried to uh, write a different kind of function where the message and history is taken the this particular function what it does is it takes the text input and multiplies the numbers inside the text input so uh, okay so let me first of all show you what happens so here let me execute this once i execute this i will uh, show it to you what exactly transpires so that you will, you will understand uh, it little more easily just give it a moment <clears throat> so the interface is up right now and i am going to say 68 multiplied by 52 so the moment i give this input so what is happening is the bot is taking the input it is splitting the uh, splitting the text and it is multiplying it and giving me the answer back so you can try it more simple so if you say 6 cross 7 it should be 42 right so you see the answer is 42 and how it is doing it is by using this function so whatever message i am providing so the message that i am providing is split using the x uh, symbol or x letter or character and then i am doing a multiplication on the list that is i puts and then i get the output that is output and then i append the output and the message back to the history and i am returning the uh, returning a blank output that is empty string as well as history so what happens is in this place i am submitting the function i am submitting both message and the chatbot here also i am submitting message in the chatbot okay so what this submit button will take so take a look at the functions so if you take a look at the function parameters you will see that the submit uh, event listener takes function it takes uh, it takes uh, the inputs and it takes the outputs so the input and the output both are actually you know in the looping fashion so once you understand you have to go through this uh, i have given you a sufficient uh, input on what exactly happens here uh, i suggest that you guys take this particular notebook i'll be sharing this with you and uh, try to work with it and see whether you can break it and uh, then try to make it work in a different way that is how i tried because initially when i started working with this uh, particular uh, code that is an additional step so here they are calling then so once this particular uh, function gets completed automatically this three uh, this function will get enabled so or executed so once this particular function this particular function is executed whether it is executed with or without proper output the second step or the subsequent function also gets executed so that is how this works so there are two functions here but i just converted that to a single function so here we are only having a single function so we are not having two functions and the single function itself is doing both the activities 
okay the reason why it is uh, converted into a single function is that we are actually working on a simple uh, transformation so we are taking a text file we are splitting it and then we are uh, just converting it into a product uh, a multiplication product right but in this case of the earlier uh, model you saw we are working with the large language model and it has multiple steps involved so the developers who created the example had split the user input on the bot as separate functions but the example that i created at the bottom the one that you that we just now saw is using a single function so uh, you guys can play with it you can try with some other new function that you want and see how the outputs are coming you can also try to work with string only inputs so you can try to get some other kind of a string input and output and see how you get the data so this is how you actually build a chatbot with uh, uh, with gradio i believe that you have learned a, a great deal in this particular short video where you got to understand how the chatbot interface has to work and how gradio the hugging faces library the python open source library can help you in doing that and what kind of uh, functions inputs and outputs you require i believe that you had some uh, good information in this do leave a like and share it with others and do subscribe to my channel for further updates on similar kind of uh, open source large language models related videos with that said i would like to leave this video with four words that is practice 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 see you guys have a great time